Hello, my name is Abby, and welcome back to the Coffee Break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, January 13th, 2016, and I just remember that I wanted to add two additional armor stands to the entrance of my tower, as I do have some leather and gold armor pieces, and I really like to start a collection of those two armor sets. I just checked the recipe for an armor stand and I need a stone slab, so I hope I can find two stone slabs in my storage room or at least some smooth stone so that I can craft new stone slabs. Yeah, this is the first thing I like to do today, then I like to return to my mountain home and finally build that gigantic glass wall. Now I do have enough sand to smelt the sand in order to obtain enough glass blocks. I just have to remember that I will take all that sand and a fresh bucket of lava with me to continue the smelting process at my mountain home. Oh, there is another evil guy that is about to expire, alright, he is now running away and goodbye. Goodbye Mr. Zombie. Oh, I don't get the XP for that zombie, that's sad, that's really sad. So yeah, but at first I like to see if I do have some stone slabs left. This would be really amazing if I could craft those two armor stands. And yeah, indeed, I do have two stone slabs left. This is good, or at least I had five stone slabs left and I just need two of them. And I have also enough wood to create some sticks and I think it was like so. Am I right? Yeah, indeed, indeed. And this is a way how to craft an armor stand. All right, now I can have two of them. I can declutter a bit my inventory and then I can return to my tower. So the new year is already 13 days old. That's crazy, that's really crazy. Wasn't it just Christmas also? That's that's really unbelievable. But yeah, so um, since I got back home from my vacation at my parents, everything is back to normal. So um, last weekend I recorded a bunch of videos, I uploaded those videos to YouTube and I got a content ID on one of my videos. So yeah, everything is back to normal. Uh, it's once again one of my Dirt Rally videos and it's once again the exact same YouTube network that is causing the content ID claim. So um, I don't know, I don't know. That's really, really annoying and I don't know what the first time that I reported that content ID issue in November or was it December? I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it's still the exact same YouTube network and I think it's getting a little bit out of hand, um, especially as they are all the time sending a message. Oh, we are so sorry that um, the, the content ID system found your video but uh, well, it's a lucky incident because now we found your channel and wouldn't it be nice if you are, you would if you you would um, join our network and so on. And um, hmm, those armor stands are a little bit too close. They are a little bit too close. Ha, huh, this is not good. I think I have to. I think I have to move them a little bit to the side, maybe have one block between them. I think this could be a little bit better. So now how to, how to remove the thing. Um, oh, right, right. Attacking it twice will remove the armor stand. All right. So now I think maybe like so. I hope this will look a little bit better. Yeah, no, no, there's enough space between those two or the three armor stands. This is good. This is really good. All right, yeah. This looks better. So now I need leather pants and leather hat and gold pants and gold shoes. All right, all right. So um, can I get rid of something else? Wait, before I will grab my horse, I think I will refill the leather bucket and grab all the things I will need in order to construct the gigantic glass wall. And yeah, so this is, this is really annoying that they won't stop doing this, this craziness with their content ID. I mean, 
I had several times an issue with them and I'm not the only YouTuber that had issues with them with some Dirt Rally videos and well they're even sending those messages to all the other YouTubers and I don't know I don't know this is this is really a bad behavior and um, I, I also contacted them and I got a reply that it's well, they are not doing that. It's it's YouTube that does the content ID thing. Yeah, sure, it's it's, it's YouTube that um, does the the content ID claim or that um, that checks the videos and then automatically adds the content ID claim on one of the videos. But it's still your responsibility to manage your um, content ID system or to manage the files you have uploaded to the content ID system, and. Well, especially after more than a month, you should have fixed that issue. And yeah, it's it's a little bit strange what they are doing and it's really annoying. And unfortunately, you can't do anything about it. And this is the most frustrating thing that, well, there is not a button for report network or do anything about that. No, no, the only thing YouTube writes on the content ID system is that if a network or if someone abuses this um, the system, then um, YouTube might remove their the permission that this um, user can upload files to the content ID system, but that's all. And even if you get an email from YouTube itself when the content ID system detects that there is maybe a copyright infringement, then the message states um, in case that our um, content ID system or the copyright holder did a mistake, please use the dispute um, dispute content ID system or however they call this. And um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. This uh, sounds like, okay, we never make an error and even if we do an error, there is still the chance that um, that we are still in the right and I'm not quite sure. I think it should be the other way around. So as soon as there is the chance for an error, just drop at first the whole, um, do I have? No, I don't have a free inventory slot for the, for the lead. So can I remove something out of my inventory? Um, oh, I do have an additional bow. I can just store the bow in here and then I, Unbreaking one. I could upgrade my bow, but I'm not quite sure if I really like to have unbreaking two on my bow. This is maybe not not good, not good enough. I would like to have power two or so on my bow, or even infinity or so. This would be amazing. Um, yeah. So the the whole content ID system is really flawed, especially when someone all the time claims false content IDs, and they have absolutely no right in doing that, because yeah, it's at the the copyright and the the content of Codemasters, and Codemasters have written a a nice blog post that, yeah, feel free to create videos with our video games. We are happy when someone creates videos and uploads them to YouTube and you're free to, to monetize your videos and so on. And then there are those strange networks that just say, all right, we try to, to claim this, this content so that we get some um, some revenue out of this and this is also very exciting or very interesting when I then take a look at my video with the copyright claim or the content ID on it then it's all the time uh, monetized so I'm I'm all the time glad that I keep my videos private until all those issues are solved because yeah I don't want to support this bad behavior I don't want to uh, support this that in the end um, I'm releasing a video and you think okay I'm now watching the the commercial or the ad uh, to support Debbie and in the end you're just supporting someone who who does those bad things and yeah this is this is really annoying and i wish youtube would change a little bit their system or they would give a little bit more rights to the to the content creator this would be really amazing if we could really do something about that and um yeah 
even if we file or we dispute a content ID claim, then um, the the um, the one who has the copyright claim um, has one month's time to to answer that claim. And this is this is really crazy. One month, one whole month time to uh, say yes, this uh, claim is valid or it's invalid. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think this this whole system is is really flawed, and this is not a good way. But yeah, as I said, unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. And yeah, so what else? Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to. Okay, it's now night time, so I can go to bed. Um. Speaking of supporting Zebby, um. While I was away, I was thinking a bit once again about Patreon. Um, I really like the the Patreon concept, especially as yeah, I think the whole um, having ads on video situation is, is really annoying. And um, well, of course, when I like a YouTuber, I watch the um, the ad, but. Um, it's not that great. And is this? Yeah, over here, over here at the the place where I like to have the glass wall. So now I can add all those glass blocks. And um, yeah, I, I really would like to get rid of commercials and ads on my videos because I think this is, yeah, just annoying and it breaks a little bit the feeling and it's a little bit too intrusive and so on and um, here yeah, but on the other hand um, hmm, maybe I need to improve this pass a little bit um, dang it maybe like yeah maybe like so okay um, so how is the the glass wall looking like huh, okay maybe maybe I need to go back a little bit more to get a different perspective on my on my mountain home and yeah so um i would really like to get rid of this whole ad thing on my videos but on the other hand um yeah uh, uploading videos to, to youtube requires uh, well it's it's more easy with a um, first internet connection and so on and yeah in the end um, it would be really nice if at least I can have some some support uh, for my hobby by getting something in return and so I'm now thinking again about Patreon and I'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure um, are you are you interested or would you like to or would you be willing to to support me via Patreon instead of watching commercials? Just I don't know. Um, have this this Patreon thing going? Would this be an interesting thing for you? Or do you still prefer having commercials on on my videos? Having some ads on my on my videos? Um, here I I don't know I don't know. Uh, would this be an interesting thing or? All right, there's the steep hole. Um, maybe I need also a glass wall over there, and maybe I should. Hmm. I'm still not quite sure with the with the size of my of my glass wall. Maybe I should also uh, excavate the the room behind that glass wall. Maybe then I will get uh, get a different different feeling. Dang it! We'll get a different feeling for it. Maybe then I will say, okay, it's large enough, or I, I like to increase the glass wall. So I was I was thinking about Patreon, and I think I need to to do some kind of survey if you are interested in in supporting me via Patreon, or if you say no, I'm I'm fine with those ads on the videos. Um, yeah, this is really a thing where I like to get some some feedback and where I really like to know um, if this would be a good thing to, to do something like this. Um, personally, as I said, I would love to, to get rid of all those ads on my videos because, yeah, I, I think they they are too intrusive and so, yeah, we will see, we will see. Um, it would be nice if you would give me 
some feedback in the comment section on this idea before I will really start um, preparing a survey or so to to find out what all the the other viewers are thinking about this Patreon idea. This would be really fantastic so that I get some, some initial feedback from you. And um, yeah, so much about that. Then speaking, uh, speaking of um, everything is back to normal, the construction site right in front of my house is still active. So they still flip the switch early in the morning and start to blast some light into my room with their 1 million watts light bulb. And uh, yeah, it's it's just great. It's just great. It's uh, really annoying that they haven't finished their job, and I'm not quite sure how long it will take until they are finally done with this with the um, with the construction of the building. I hope it won't take that long anymore because yeah, I'm complaining about this for oh, dang it uh, for more than half a year by now and um, I there's still no end in sight and that's really really annoying and really bad and it um hmm this is well it looks good it looks good I still like to get an outside perspective again maybe maybe now it looks a little bit better once I have excavated the room behind the glass wall maybe this changes a little bit the whole situation this would be nice and um, how we are doing over here um, yeah I can take this and I can Add some more glass, um, some more sand to it. All right, all right, very nice. Um, I think now I do have more than enough glass blocks. That's fantastic. And okay, I need a smooth stone at one point to fix that hole I have created up there in my new room. Um, yeah, so they are still making loud noises and they are still annoying and. Oh dear, oh dear. So yeah, as I said, 2016 continues the same way as um, 2015 has ended. Content IDs, um, loud noises, and well, I do have some some interesting ideas, some, uh, um, well, maybe some ideas for improvement, um, like the, the Patreon system. And it would also add some, yeah, I think, I think this, this glass wall is large enough. I at first I thought may, maybe I need really a gigantic glass wall, but I think this is this is large enough. And no, I think the next thing is to create a glass wall on the opposite side of the mountain. So I will just get over there to take a look at the opposite side of my mountain to decide where I like to build the next room. And um, yeah, speaking of Patreon again, one thing that would be or this that would be um, possible with with Patreon uh, that I can I can set up some maybe interesting perks or so, or we can have I don't know viewers choice of the month or so that you choose a certain video and or uh, not a certain video that you choose a certain game and I will play that game for one month or so. Maybe this would be something we can do. So. Um, I think it would just increase a little bit the well the the interaction so that you can give me some feedback or that you can provide me with some some more feedback about my videos and about my content that you can make some some additional suggestions and um, yes yeah, think I'm not quite sure I'm I haven't really done some research on patreon but I think you can even do some um, I don't know, is there uh, some kind of forum or something where you can discuss a few things or where I can announce a few things. Um, so maybe we can have even a conversation over there. This would be this would be really fantastic. And so I'm now really curious what you are thinking about the whole Patreon situation. What's, what is something I should try? What is something I should um, really invest some time in in order to, to set up a Patreon page and to get everything running or yeah, just just leave a 
just leave a comment in the comment section. I'm, I'm really, really interested in your opinion. And um, yeah, I think I think this wraps up all I wanted to say today. And we still have some time left. That's unusual. That's unusual. Normally I notice. Oh wow! I. Oh, the, the day is already over and I still have so many things to talk about. But no, not this time, not this time. And wait, maybe, maybe I can do something else. Um, I like to grab this, remove this, get one cobblestone in there so that I can get a smooth stone. And come on. All right, thank you. So now you can continue smelting the sand. All right, all right. And I can fix the hole in my shiny new room. That's good. That's really good. So um, yeah, is there something else I can talk about? Oh yeah, um, yesterday um, was a day where the, well, when the, uh, the, 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 the service provider of my of my house checks in to to check um, the the consumption of your heater. So and uh, we have s um, small small tools that measure the amount of energy or of time you have used your your heaters in in the room. So that in the end you you have well of course to pay for for the amount of energy you have consumed for the heater. And this year or last year was the second year in a row where I had zero. Um, heat heater usage um, throughout the whole year. So two years for now, or well, by now it's two years since I last used my heater, and that's that's really crazy. I remember as I moved into this flat or this apartment, I had to use the heater throughout the winter because we really had cooler winters. And now here, once again, another indication for the whole global warming situation. Since two years, I haven't used the heater in my apartment. And that's, that's really crazy. That's, um, yeah, that's, that's really unusual when, especially when I think back a few years, um, ago I used or had to use the heater because otherwise it would have been just a cold inside my um, apartment and now I managed to get through two years without ever using the heater and that's crazy that's really crazy and um, yeah this happened yesterday and well now now at the end of this day I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Coffee Break. I hope you will leave a comment in the comment section to let me know what you think about Patreon, if this would be something for my channel or for, for Debbie. And if, yeah, because I really like to, to stop using or having ads on my videos, this would be really perfect if we could find a different solution. And um, here, so I think, I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you again on Sunday. Until then, my name is Abby. See you.